Hello you lovely Mario Maker person, my name is Sif and welcome back. So last week I confronted all of you wonderful people with a challenge. I set out to create a puzzle level so unfair and ridiculously complicated that not a single one of you is able to solve it. A puzzle level as hard as a puzzle stage could be. The hardest puzzle. And like so many times before, I failed. While the clear rate is really low, there were still dozens of people who managed to beat the stage and earned themselves an entry on the PSTCL. What I want to do in this video is to talk about the puzzle and afterwards explain how the solution works, since there are a couple of small interesting tricks hidden inside. So are you ready? Let's do this! Okay, so first, let's talk about the problem. This is the puzzle room. It's pretty clear what Mario's job is here. He needs to collect the five red coins, which are at these positions, in order to get a key, which allows him to unlock this door. Whenever Mario goes through this door, the room is reloaded and a part of the stage becomes inaccessible. These bullet blasters up here display how often Mario already went through a door. Because the third time our plumber goes through this door, something horrible happens both sides of the door become blocked and our poor Italian jump and runner walks through both doors for eternity, unable to leave them. So the first problem Mario has to solve is to find out which coins can be collected at which round of the level. The next problem is that there are three coins which require Mario to take damage in order to collect them. The one behind the boo and the two behind the saw blades. But there is another problem as well. These three coins can't be reached by jumping and require some Mario trickery in order to be collected. All that our super plumber has to work with is a shell mat which is unreachable at first glance and a power block. That's the problem. So what is the solution? The first thing Mario needs in order to solve this puzzle is this shell mat which is able to protect his precious head. In order to get it he needs to activate this question block first to grow a vine. For some reason our plumber is able to stop the shell mat from spinning if he climbs on the right side of the vine. It's a little bit tricky to stop the shell mat in a position that allows it to be grabbed from below. Since the shell mat now doesn't spin no more, Mario is able to grab it by jumping towards it from below. Our plumber probably wants to protect his precious head with this shell as fast as possible. But before he does so, he needs to destroy these brick blocks first, because this spawns two bullet blasters there for the next round. Now Mario is finally allowed to put the fantastic shell onto his head. Hooray! Time to collect the first coin. The first coin to collect is the one behind the saw blade at the top. There is a really interesting mechanic used when collecting this one. Saw blades usually bounce Mario away if he jumps towards them while wearing a shell mat. But if Mario climbs towards them while wearing his super stylish headgear, the saw blade can't push him away since this is not how climbing works. Because of this Mario is able to climb pretty far into a saw blade before getting hurt which allows him to collect the coin without losing his precious head or headgear. Okay, so time for coin number two. I hope Mario didn't grow too fond of his special head because he's about to lose it. Mario needs to damage boost through this horrific boo in order to get it. Just as a quick side note, I saw that some people were able to beat the stage without losing the helmet. I have no idea how you guys did this. It would be great if someone could explain me in a comment how this can be achieved. Consider beating the stage while still wearing the helmet to be the true ending of the stage. The true ending I didn't even know about. Anyway, one coin left to collect before round two. This one can't be reached by normal jumps, but luckily there is a power block that can be utilized. So here's the thing, if Mario drops the power block into the wall to his right, the power block touches this spring and is pushed below Mario, which creates an improvised platform for Italian jump and runner, which he can utilize to catch this coin. Hooray, only two left. Mario needs to take the power block with him and to go through the door now. The right part of the stage is now blocked, but since our still a plumber destroyed the brick blocks before, there are now two bullet blasters which allow him to jump towards this saw blade. Mario can't jump here because jumping would mean touching the ouching saw blade. But luckily there is a small easter egg in the game which allows us to collect this coin. If our plumber is in the SMB freestyle, stands on top of a white semi-solid platform and holds the down button for a couple of seconds, he does 
as a mini hop after a while, which allows him to collect this coin. This was meant to be a super small easter egg since it was possible to jump behind white semi-solid platforms in Super Mario Bros. 3, but this little trick can actually be used for really unfair puzzle levels. Okay, so now there is only one last coin left to collect and Mario is done for today. The last coin can only be collected during the last round. Once our plumber made it through the door for the last time, these dangerous munchers dropped down. Luckily Mario brought this power block all the way with him, because this power block allows him to create a safe zone on top of the munchers on which he can stand and which allows him to collect the last coin. Now Mario has the key, but sadly the door is now blocked by the helpful but evil munchers. Time to use the power block once again. If our power block throwing plumber is fast, he's able to throw the power and enter the door before the second muncher drops on his head, which leads him towards his beloved goal sign. Hooray! Okay, so that was the solution to this little but tricky puzzle. I've got a new trick for you, but before I show you this one, we have to put all the people who actually managed to beat this stage onto the PSTCL. The people smarter than Seaf list. So, shout out to Eduardo, Seth, Thomas, Smash, Frimbo, Jmang7, Shadowcat, MK, Spoot S, Kash, Cheats, Try, Theo, Chaos87, Franciski, Arnud, Alex, Sparky, Smashboss, Tristno, P, First, Bru, PT, Macho Man, Pro, Malachi, Bukaru, Christian, Brown Sugar, H and APM, Carl, IK, and Krypta. Okay, so here's the trick for next week. Mario is in a one screen wide underwater stage. The camera doesn't move here, which means that there were no blocks set above the screen you can currently see. Everything here would be pretty standard if it wasn't for the fact that it's raining fireballs. So the question for next week is, how is it possible that there are Bowsers outside of the loaded area? And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel especially puzzled today and want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope that you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye.